New at 7 tonight, the U.S. Forest Service is currently doing forest thinning operations all throughout the Lake Tahoe Basin. Mm -hmm. The thinning is done in an effort to restore the area to pre-Comstock era mm. conditions. It's way back. Brian Hoffman explains. The Lake Tahoe Forest is getting a facelift today as the Forest Service continues their trimming efforts north of Incline Village. But thinning out the forest isn't just for aesthetic purposes. It can also mean the difference between a small fire and another Angora fire. It's way more beneficial to um, thin your forest prior to a fire than to try to stop a fire in a forest that's not thinned. By thinning that forest along the highway and, and out here in the general forest as a buffer, it allows emergency vehicles in and out. This was true of both the Angora fire in 2007 and the Emerald fire in 2016. Areas that had this forest thinning were not as affected and were able to grow back a lot faster because many of the trees were left standing after the blaze. As well as creating a defensible space for fires, these tree trimmers are also providing an important service restoring the forest ecosystem. Floor change a little bit as far as some flowers and, and shrubbery and different brush um, come back and, and as, uh, you'll see a lot of hardwoods, a lot of different stuff you don't, normally don't see until you thin the forest and the sunlight's getting onto the forest floor more than it used to. And by doing these treatments, the Forest Service is also helping prevent against insect infestation by cutting down and hauling away dead or diseased trees in their aim to treat nearly 4,000 acres of North Shore Lake Tahoe. Covering the story, Brian Hoffman, Channel 2 News. And the forest trimming operations are expected to continue throughout fall until the winter season.